Hi guys, a very happy morning all the way here from Bangalore. Uh, checking through to see how some of the guys are working towards their projects that we have worked on the last couple of weeks. Uh, one of the key things that's coming out of the projects is most of us, uh, or most of the people are making a comment about how overwhelming things can be when you've got numerous things to attend to. That word overwhelming is, is heartbreaking in a lot of cases because they, they seem to be a blockage. You're not wanting to do anything else apart from saying, oh, I don't have time, I don't have uh, uh, the money, or I don't have the resource. Now, the key element is, let's break this word called overwhelming. Overwhelming in a lot of people's minds is, okay, I have these things to do. Where do I start? How do I go about it? My key element is very simple. If you have a strong purpose in life, if your why is strong enough, the facts don't count. That's what I keep saying. If your why is strong enough, the facts don't count. So here is an example of what I mean by that. If you have a very strong purpose and you've got 15 different things to do, the easiest way to handle it is check each of those 15 elements against your why, against your reason. And if it doesn't in any way contribute to that reason, it does not matter whether you do it or not. What matters most is you just dump it in file 13 without even think, thinking twice. Now that's the key element on how you work through a prioritization. Most of us don't have a why, so therefore everything is important. And if we do not have a why, everything seems to be urgent, everything seems to be vital, everything needs to be done now, where do we go? We just get overwhelmed. That's why I carry a, a little cliche with me all the time when we talk about the subject. And one of the key elements that I talk about here is inch by inch is a cinch. Now, inch by inch is a cinch only applies. It only, only, only applies when your why is strong enough. So if I were you, those that are talking about being overwhelmed, I would sincerely suggest the key thing you have to do is just go back, revisit your why, revisit what is happening, and then look at how you can cut back on the list of things to do. Ciao for now. Until next time.